Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel, guys. Today we're talking about two Auto Glimmer abrasive products. Their new Rapid Renovator Plus and their normal, or the one that's been around for a while, Rapid Renovator. Both of these are diminishing abrasive products that you can use to kind of polish your paintwork. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna demo today um, some Auto Glim abrasives, starting with, or the main focus really being on this new product, the Rapid Renovator Plus, which I believe is relatively new to market. It's a heavy cutting compound, a diminishing abrasive that leaves you a high gloss finish. So you could use this when you've got a correct kind of, a lot of damage on clear coat, you know, you know the sort of thing, taking out sandy marks, heavy cutting. It's primarily being developed for rotary use, but it can be used on a dual action polisher, like all, all abrasives really, but developed for rotary use primarily. Um, what else about this product it is, it contains no fillers or glossing agents or anything like that. So what you see is what you get. It's a pure abrasive, a pure diminishing abrasive. Um, no no uh, silicon, no silica fillers or any, any of that sort of stuff, which is important uh, in some ways. To, to know what you're getting with these products. So it's a pure abrasive. And then they also have their existing Rapid Renovator Plus, which is more of a kind of mid-range compound, if that's the right kind of word. So you can still cut with it, you can still do defect removal with it. But, and it's, and it's also one that breaks down to a high gloss finish. But this product has more cut. So with diminishing abrasives, as, as we said before, the technology relies on bonding the abrasive particles together to form bigger chunks of abrasives that will give you more cut. <laughs> you know, they form a bigger clump, if you like. And uh, as you work those products, the abrasives break down quite quickly um, from the big chunks to smaller particles um, to give you a finer finish and less cut. And that, as well as providing the capability to deliver you a higher gloss finish, it also provides a little bit of a safety net um, with you not kind of, uh, both in terms of overheating the paintwork and in terms of not taking away too much clear coat. So they're kind of formulated to be able to go in and use them and uh, work them as intended and get you where you need to go quite quickly. I mean, that's kind of like the name of it, Rapid Renovator. So that's just to explain what the products are. To give you another kind of way of thinking about it, this is similar sort of thing to S3 Gold, in my opinion, or Koch Chemi 8. H802, that sort of thing. And this is more similar to sort of like S20 or even Perfect Finish as we've featured on this channel before. So hopefully that cl clarifies what we're dealing with. And now I wanna just demo them to you. I'm gonna pan the camera around onto the test panel. We're just gonna demo them to you live. And I'm gonna show you a key feature about the Rapid Renovator Plus primarily. This has been around for, for a long time. I'm sure there's loads of reviews out there on it. Um, but this one now I've used a couple of times in anger on cars and I'm pretty pleased with this stuff. So let's get onto the panel and I'll show you uh, some of the good things about this product. Okay guys, so we've got our test panel here. Um, I can see in the light that you're seeing it doesn't look too bad, but um, if I could get the light angle right, you'd see that all this area here is all kind of scratched up with dry sanding hazing with sort of a, an old bit of a grit. Um, so it's not consistently well wet sanded or anything like that. It's all just a bit scratched. And here's an area here that I was doing some other test spots on with um, P2000. So I'll just overlay a better angle where you can actually see the hazing a little bit more. But this is really more to demo the product in action. So we have our um, rotary polisher here, the Flex P14-2, and we have our Rapid Renovator product here. Now I'm just going to read you the instructions that Auto Glim. All the instructions are nice on a little bottle here. It's quite simple. So thoroughly clean and dry the vehicle, etc. Um, so here we go. Using a medium foam pad, so the Auto Glim white pad, apply three dots of rap Rapid Renovator the size of a pea directly on the pad. More product may be required for a fresh pad yet. Fair play. Work section by section on the panel at 600 to 800 RPM. 
Pass, uh, then pass over the air in a horizontal motion. Gradually increase your speed up to 1500 to 1800 RPM to achieve the desired finish. Um, <laughs> so there's nothing, nothing there about times. You never really tend to find any of the instructions will give you time because the environment and what pad you're using and how fast you're working it will affect all those working times. So I suppose achieving the desired result is the best way to say it. But anyway, let's not get sidetracked. I'm just putting down three P's of product on this pad. Okay, quite small P's, not a, not a lot. Could put a bit more on there because it's quite a large pad, but never mind. <laughs> and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fire up the stopwatch and see how long I can work this till things start going wrong, which will give you an idea of why I like this particular, why I like this particular product. So let's just crack on. So I'm just gonna dab this a little bit. In fact, I'll leave this area here so we can kind of see what it looks like afterwards. Whoa, this is always dodgy. I'm on a black and decker here, so let's just make sure that's stable. There we go. I'm turning the stopwatch on and I'm just gonna move that off the panel so it doesn't fall over. So I'm gonna work this at um, around about speed one and a half or one and three quarters, which is close to sort of 800 RPM. We'll just spread it out first at low speeds. Um, <laughs> Right, so I'm up in the speed now. I'm just going to work this. see this but the products now starting to thin out and break down so literally with one pass I could probably just do another pass now at the same speed but it's ready to the point where you can start thinking about cranking up a little bit so I'm just going to pass over it one more and then then crank up I 
I'm going to stop now. Right, if I bring in the stopwatch, well, I'm going to try and trip over the cable. I just want to show you the time on there. We were close to four minutes. We just ended our set prior to four minutes. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, who cares? Four, about four minutes. So what I'm going to do now is bring the camera in to show you. It's, I'm just showing you that after four minutes of working it, this product on a rotary with a large pad at 1500. We've got some heat going on here. It's not roasting hot. You can, I can hold my hand down there if I want it. It's hot though, guys. Just showing you, let's get a nice bit of product that we still got nice. The lubrication system in there is still kind of working. So what, what hasn't happened with this product is it hasn't dried up on me and it hasn't dusted, even though I've worked it a hell of a lot longer than, than I normally would have done. So you can see that there. So let's just buff this product off now. I'll try and change the camera angle so you can actually see the bloody stuff. Is that better? Right, there we go. You can sort of see it now, hold on. Right, let me get this thing in focus. Right, so you can see a good section of it there, right behind the light. So let's get a cloth. Sorry, the panel was a bit rattly in this, uh, it was a bit rattly in this video. So the other thing you're looking for as well is your products that are easy to buff off of the panel. So watch. So we're just using a you know nice open pile cloth here. And this has been worked to the point where it's quite well, it's been overworked, but it comes off the panel really nicely. It comes off the panel good. Let me just zoom this out a bit because there's more over here I can I can buff off. Um, There we go, it's pretty much buffed away. Obviously not buffed to uh, not buffed to an amazing clean state, but just, well, it's buffed, it's done. Um, now let me just put the camera back. Hold on a second. Right, I hate doing this on the fly. There we go. Where is it? Okay, that'll do. Ah, hello. <laughs> So rapid, let me get closer to the camera. Rapid, rapid Renovator Plus. What can I say about this stuff, guys? It's a pretty idiot proof, like I described in another video where I used this in anger. I've used it now on single stage paint and I filmed some of that of it in action and I've used it now on clear coat as well. And both times it did a really good job for me. Uh, in this video now, I've worked that product harder than I ever worked it when I've actually used it in anger. Um, you know, four minutes on a rotary where we're cranked up to 1500. Um, most other products, let's we say most other products, a lot of other abrasives won't be, won't like to be worked that hard. What happens when you work other abrasives that hard? You can test this out for yourself. Not all of them do it. Some of, some of the other ones are brilliant like this. Well, sometimes they can bed down into the panel when you get little spots of the abrasives that are, I don't know what the word to describe it is, but it's almost stuck onto the panel and it's a right pain to get off. In fact, you're almost better just doing another pass and polishing it off. What else can you get? You can get dusting, um, you know, which is what you'd expect after that. I don't know how long I'd have to work this stuff to make it dust. It's very um, good on the dusting front and that's important as well to minimize the mess, but you're gonna be honking it all in if something's dusting all up there. So it's nice when you can work an abrasive hard and it doesn't dust. The cut on it, you know, is fine, especially on a rotary. You don't really, I mean, it's rare you're gonna need more cut than this product is giving you. Um, it's a proper heavy cutting compound, but then like I say, as it starts to break down, you're getting that high gloss finish. This is good stuff, guys. Um, I'm telling you it's good stuff. It's I think you can pick it up as well with the Auto Glim, the prices, it, with the Auto Glim professional stuff. And I think this is in their professional line, so you don't see it in Halfords potentially. I'm not sure about that. Um, let me know in the comments. You typically get it through your local Auto Glim kind of franchise distributor. So Auto Glim sell this professional range 
to, to lots of local kind of Auto Glim franchises, if that's the right word. Um, if you want to find out who your local Auto Glim franchisee is, then message um, franchise, message Auto Glim on Facebook or send them an email or contact them on Twitter. They'll be able to help tell you who it is and you can contact them, find out prices for this. But I think it'll be about between 25, 30 pounds roughly. So it's below the market price for a kilo of abrasives. So it's good, it's a bit cheaper. Um, you know, we often think of the German abrasives, and I do as well, a big fan of some of those German abrasive ranges with some of my favourite kind of abrasives out there. Um, but this is very good stuff, guys. Very good stuff. Impressed with this. So, everything about this product I like, and uh, I'm really confident to give it the thumbs up um, because, like I say, I've used it two times now in anger before shooting this video. I tend to ask guys about it as well as a few people I chat to that have of user stuff and the word on the street on this is pretty good as well it's, it's a it's a good product this one guys um, and the main thing I wanted to do is just shoot in real time so you could see why I mentioned it in one of the other videos that may already be out in front of this one or may not I think it's a really idiot proof um, abrasive and what I mean by idiot proof it means a lot of the things that could go wrong if you misuse it and I fall into that category of misusing it with the overworking a lot of those things are not really problems. If I overwork it massively, it's still easy to remove. Um, the fact that it diminishes means I'm not really just going to keep sawing my way through the clear coat and it's not going to dust up on me. Um, so that's it. It's ticking all the boxes. Let's keep this one simple. So that is the Renovator, Rapid Renovator Plus from Auto Glim. We can definitely recommend that on this channel. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've used the product as always, and this is the new Rapid Renovator Plus we're focusing on in this video, let me know and um, put the comments on your thoughts on the product in the description. Thanks very much for watching. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and uh, I'll see you soon on the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>